welcome back my dear students how are you hope you all are doing well today we are going to discuss the rest part of the activities from the lesson polia so let's go through the first activity in the following passage some words are wrongly used underline the wrong words and rewrite the passage using appropriate words so here some words are wrongly used in this passage we have to find out the wrong words and then rewrite the passage using the correct words the person which made a real impression on me was my best friend so here the wrongly used word is which instead of which we have to use the word who there because when we talk about people we should always use the relative pronoun who i really like shaji because he always helped me which things went wrong so here which is the wrongly used word instead of which we have to use the correct word when he is like a strong wall to lean on where i have problems at home or at school so here the wrongly used word is where the correct word should be when so he is like a strong wall to lean on when i have problems at home or at school shaji has dark hair and a beautiful smile who i can recognize from a distance so here the wrongly used word is who and the correct word should be whom now i will read the passage using correct words the person who made a real impression on me was my best friend i really like shaji because he always helped me when things went wrong he is like a strong wall to lean on when i have problems at home or at school shaji has dark hair and a beautiful smile whom i can recognize from a distance now we will study about either or either or is used to combine two parts of a sentence or two sentences here are a few problems suggest two solutions use either or the first problem is your science teacher is on leave so what will be the solution yes we may either sit in the class and read or go to the library second problem is a building catches fire so what will be the solution yes we may either try to extinguish the flames or call the fire force the third problem is you find it difficult to solve a problem then what will be the solution yes we may either discuss it in the class or ask our maths teacher the fourth problem is you don't have a pen then what will you do yes i may either buy a pen or use a pencil the last problem is you are alone at home then what will you do yes i may either read a book or go on a nature walk now let's see about as well as look at the words given in the bubbles using these words make as many sentences as possible about what you and your friends can do use as well as in your sentences drive a car draw pictures dance play cricket swim tell jokes paint portraits play chess cook use the computer wash clothes read books ride a bike attend meditation classes speak two languages now you have to make sentences from the bubbles using as well as my friend baby can draw pictures as well as paint portraits my friend arun can drive a car as well as ride a bike my friend shanti can read books as well as use the computer 
my friend giri can play chess as well as attend meditation class i can wash clothes as well as swim you can also make different sentences from the bubbles using as well as read the sentence from the story polia here polia he said is the latest teach yourself russian which is based on up to date methods I'm going to show you how to use it. Here we use going to to talk about what we intend to do in the near future. We use going to when we have already decided to do something. It's the 1st of January. How old are these people going to be on their next birthdays? Arun is now 12 years old. His birthday is on March 15th. Amala is 13 years old. Her birthday is on July 27th. Joy and Jamal are 15 years old. Their birthday is on September 6th. So from this data you have to make sentences using going to. Arun is going to be 12 on March 15th. Amala is going to be 13 on July 27th. Joy and Jamal are going to be 15 on September 6th. Similarly, you have to write your age and your birthday using going to. Complete these sentences. Use the correct form of going to and the verbs given in the brackets. This is going to be a very busy weekend. On Friday, my friend Ben and I dash see a movie. So the verb given here is see and the correct form of going to is are going to see. So the sentence becomes on Friday, my friend Ben and i are going to see a movie after the movie we dash eat dinner at our favorite thai restaurant so the verb here is eat and the correct form of going to is are going to eat so after the movie we are going to eat dinner at our favorite thai restaurant now you may examine the two chart of arif arif is traveling through south india tiruvananthapuram two days ago kochin yesterday palakkad now malambura dam after one hour kovai tomorrow chennai after three days hyderabad after two weeks complete the sentences with he was he is or he will be note the time indicators yesterday he was in cochin yesterday means indicating the past so we have to use the past tense there at the moment he is in palakkad at the moment means present time so we have to use the present tense there after one hour he will be in malambura dam after one hour means the future so we have to use the future tense there tomorrow he will be in kovai after three days he will be in chennai two days ago he was in tiruvananthapuram after two weeks he will be in hyderabad here are some situations you may read them and then write what you will do in these situations use these verbs answer carry have post shut or any other word of your choice you and your friend have come into the room the window is open and it is cold then what will you do yes i will shut the window The phone is ringing. You are the person close to it. So students tell me what will you do? Yes, I will answer the telephone. The choice on the menu is fish and chicken. 
you hate fish then i will have chicken you are meeting a friend at the railway station he has two suitcases there is a bag too then what will you do yes i will carry the bag your friend wants to post a letter he has written you are going to school past the post office past means after so your friend wants to post a letter he has written you are going to school past the post office then what will you do yes i will post the letter here also you can write sentences of your own choice so students i hope you all have enjoyed today's class so thank you so much students